Hello, welcome to lesson 7 of the Coding for Girls program. In this lesson, we'll reinforce some of the concepts that were taught in previous lessons, like handling events and using events to move a sprite. In terms of previous programming experience, we expect students to be able to add text to sprite, to use events, to move an object with arrow keys and also events, and to use conditionals for object state. The general learning outcomes are conditionals for object is touching a certain color, moving to a certain coordinate, the pen up and pen down commands, and also changing the pen color. In specific learning outcomes, student will use the if sentence for object state, and student will set the starting x and y coordinates for a sprite, student will use pen up and pen down for drawing a line, Student will change the pen color depending on the object he is connecting, and student will realize that he has to clear all the information in the beginning of a program. This activity is planned to last for 30 minutes, and it's mostly planned to be done individually, but with support of uh, frontal teaching by the teacher. Uh, it is based on active learning, on game design based learning, and problem solving uh, pedagogical approaches. So, in this exercise, uh, what is expected is students to be able to uh, create a game where the user traces a line between the princess and her cat, and between the prince and her his dog. Now, the lines have different colors, so one is pink and the other is blue. Please note that this is a, a simple way to address this issue, so we will not check if the colors are correct, we will not check if there is, for instance, a clash between the lines. So basically, this exercise is solely to teach students how to draw these lines. To start with uh, this lesson, uh, students can download a pre-prepared half-baked scenario that is available on links they have on the instruction sheet. And this uh, half-baked scenario provides them with background to the, this maze where prince and princess should find the way to the dog and the cat. And students also have the um, sprite for the girl. So they need to find four more sprites for the other characters. Uh, you can provide them because you also have access to the full implementation of this uh, lesson. So you can provide them with the other characters, with the other sprites, if you think that speeds up the class. If uh, students are getting their own sprites, one thing that you must make sure is that sprites fit inside the maze. So they have to scale them uh, in the maze. Now, to start, what we are going to do is to repeat what we did in the last lesson which is to move the character based on the uh, key pressed event. So when the user presses the arrow keys, he's going to move our sprite for the girl. So for instance, if we are moving up, then uh, you know that we have to increase the Y coordinates. And if we are moving down, we have to decrease the Y coordinates. If we are moving left, we have to decrease the x coordinates. If we are moving right, then we have to increase the x coordinates. So let's start by creating uh, one block which uh, detects if a certain key has been pressed. For instance, if uh, when the up arrow has been pressed, then what we are going to do is move our character 10 steps. Um, so, if we move up, then our character is moving 10 steps in that direction. We should also uh, point our girl in the right direction. So, before we move her, if she is moving up, then we point in direction 0. And another thing that is important is to make sure that the girl does not go out of the maze so she doesn't go into the grass uh, to do that what we did was to create a brown border here and like we did in the previous lesson what we are going to do is verify if the girl uh, is touching the brown border so 
we use the color touching and for the color we select the round color now we have a control instruction which is an if if touching and if she's moving up then what we are going to do is move her uh, 10 steps down okay so basically if by doing the last movement up 10 steps and if she is touching the border then what happens is that she moves back so you can see that now the girl cannot uh, go further up so what we are going to do now very quickly is to duplicate this for each of the arrow so we have here the full code for the four directions and how our code is now working so you can see the girl can move in other, any direction so but this can lead some unexpected results like you said you see here that the girl is um, actually uh, facing down so it's uh, it's a bit strange so it's better if we just come here and restrain the motion of the girl to just uh, left and right okay so she not, cannot face up or down so basically this prevents some strange situations so she moves either to the left she, sorry she faces either to left or to the right so our girl is moving and as, as you can see she, she doesn't cross the border from the maze to the grass so now we need a way to um, draw the line that will connect the princess with the cat and uh, the prince with the dog uh, for this we need the uh, instructions related with uh, drawing the pen so we need uh, an, an instruction for pen down and pen up so pen down is when we want to draw something and pen up is when we don't want to draw and then we need also to change the pen color so we need to one instruction to do pen down one instruction to do pen up one instruction for instance to draw a pink line and also other also another instruction to do a blue line but then we must use some event to uh, trigger these uh, conditions so for instance uh, we can select a key so when for instance we press the D key then the pen will be down and likewise when for instance the E key is pressed then the pen will be up we can do the same here for the selection of the color for instance we have the P for pink and we can have also the B for blue to select so uh, right now if I move the girl nothing happens but if I press the D key then she starts drawing uh, she starts drawing with default color but uh, for instance if now I change the color with P then she starts drawing with a P if I click on the E on the B then she starts drawing with blue uh, line okay so this is right now what we have so far of course we need more we need to actually create a program that starts when the green flag is clicked and uh, as you see we have left a trace so it's quite important and when we start we do a clear to erase any traces of previous games and also when we start to should do a pen up to make sure that we are not drawing something inadvertently 
And uh, one thing that is important is also to um, place the girl in a certain position, okay? So we should be able to uh, start the game always with the girl in a certain position. To do that, we have to go here and then choose go to and tell the coordinates of the starting position which can be for instance minus 190 and minus 133 okay and uh, so when we click you see that the girl starts in that position uh, when we start we can also give some instructions to the um, player we can for instance say what he has to do for instance help the prince and princess find their animals and then again we can say so you can see well, there is a mistake there so let's put the right name of the prince help the prince and princess find their animals and here you can say for instance draw the right path from them to the animals and that's it so when we start the game there are the instructions and now we can draw the path so you know that we can select the color to pink we select D to start tracing the path and here is our girl helping the princess finding the cat as a final remark i would like to remind you that students can be motivated by providing a context to the game so for instance in this case the girl decided to help the princess to find their cat and prince to find his dog by showing drawing the path to their animals as you know you can always find more information on the project website at www.codingforgirls.eu but you also have a full activity available uh, on this link and students will have the guidelines and instructions on their student sheet and they have some of the resources available on the link that we provide as well enjoy